All right, so welcome to another video. And yet again, we have a few system app updates for MIUI users. Now you can use this on Android 12 powered MIUI 13. If you are on Android 11, there are a couple of apps which you cannot try, I'll tell you that. So all the exciting information is there, there are changes happening to MIUI. So we will see all of that in this particular video as well, how to install and uninstall. So stay tuned till the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe because it doesn't cost you absolutely anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, let me actually show you what are the apps that have been updated before I actually show you what the changes actually are, right? So it's in the downloads folder over here. Now we have cast over here, that is basically a screen casting. Compass, File Manager, Scanner, Settings, System Launcher, and System UI Plugin. So you have Cast and System UI Plugin that are the two files that you should not install if you are on MIUI 13 with Android 11. But if you are on MIUI 13 and Android 12, you can install all of these. Remember, you don't need an unlock bootloader or root access to do this. You can do this on a stable ROM just like how I've done it. Now, as you can see, at this point, I am on the stable 13.0.7 Indian update for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now there are a few features which might not be groundbreaking, but you would like to use them anyways. For instance, if we go to the multitasking menu over here, you would see that everything seems similar, but if you tap on any of the app, you will see that these icons now for the multitasking menu look a little bold. So they are outlined in a much better way. As well, you have an assistant icon over here, which takes you to the MI Smart Hub. Now, of course, this is there for beta users, but what it gives us is a preview as to that in the coming update of MIUI 14, you will be able to invoke the Google Assistant, maybe in the global ROM from the multitasking menu as well. So apart from all the other locations where you can invoke the assistant, we now have one more option, which is a really, really neat thing. Another slight change that is coming up is to the control center. Now we do have this iOS style MIUI 13 style of control center already available since a while. But what you can see over here that you have your music player shortcut and the MI Smart Hub shortcut available. At the same time, at the bottom, you have your Google Smart Devices or Google Home shortcut as well. Now, these options are available and they work absolutely fine. So let me quickly actually go ahead and play a music track for you. So let's actually see here and let's go to the control center. Okay, as you can see, it is playing. If you tap on this, you can select which device you want to put the audio output to. You can increase, decrease the volume and you can play and pause the track as well. And the animation is pretty smooth and subtle. So that is a good thing along with, you know, the audio source option available is really, really nice. So this is a change, which is another neat option and it's going to come in MIA 13.1 or MIA 14, but you can have it now just by installing an APK, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. Now, another neat addition over here is the MI scanner. So this is an app which you use on Xiaomi, Poco, Redmi devices to actually go ahead and scan QR codes and stuff. Now, if you actually go to scanner over here, which is available under tools, or the scanner app itself. So where do we have that scanner? Okay, now this app has received a bunch of upgrades, which is really, really good. So first of all, there is this option called transfer. So you can scan a paper or a document and directly convert it to PDF and transfer it. So that is a good option. Now you have an option of scan for a barcode, QR code that is always there. Translate, so you can select text from a picture and you can live translate that. You can also translate words that are written somewhere, which is a good thing. You have to highlight that inside this box. And then you have the scan option for business cards as well. So these are things that have been added and this scanner is now powered by MI AI. So that is a good thing. It means it will be able to identify a lot of good features and options, whatever you want to use it. So those things are present and the scanner has definitely received a huge, huge update. Now, along with the major updates, there are some smaller updates as well. For example, if you go to the Compass application, I'm not sure if a lot of you use it or not, but as you can see, it has received a new user interface and when you move it, it goes to the back camera and stuff. So this new UI looks a little better, but yes, Compass has gotten a new user interface. Next up, once again, we are talking about the file manager. Now you would see that I have two MI file managers over here. 
Now, as you can see, this is the one which is the old user interface. And now if we go to the new UI, you will see that it looks different. Let's go ahead and hit agree. Okay. So you can see all the recent apps over here with the label and everything. And then storage looks like something this. And if you refresh it, there is this new animation. And the good thing here is once you've given it the first launch for like two to three minutes and it has read all the files, the file discovery is really, really quick. The animations are really, really nice. Even if you go to any folder, the folder name over here is highlighted. So the new file manager definitely is enhanced. It works way better and it segregates the files in a much, much better manner compared to what it used to do earlier. So that's a welcome addition. Next up, we have some changes to the launcher, which we've spoken about in the past. But if you go to launcher settings, it now appears like a card. You have option of remove text from widgets. And if you go to more, then over here, you have an option of minus one screen, which was always present. But if you go to home screen, you have three different previews available over here. So you can directly go to the light mode. You can directly go to the classic mode. And these previews are animated. So say you go to the light mode. Now the light mode is sort of useful for the elderly people or if you have any kids at your house. Now, once you've enabled the light mode, you need to go to settings to disable it. So go to special features, light mode. And over here, you have this option called turn off light mode. Now, the moment you click on it, the app drawer or the launcher will go back to the default settings. Now, once again, over here, you have things like don't show text or remove text from widgets. These options are now separate and they are available individually. You have horizontally arranging recents. So they are present and they work absolutely fine. Now the launcher feels much more smoother and cohesive compared to what it was earlier. And the app icon animations are getting with each update of the system launcher. Although this is alpha, but yes, it is working great. Now we come to the important part. Where are these APKs from? Are they trustworthy and why you should install them or not install them? First things first, these are alpha and beta APKs and it's very easy to install and uninstall with the exception that I told you that the system UI plugin and the cast plugin, if you're on Android 11 MIUI 13, don't install them. But if you're on Android 12 with MIUI 13, you can install all of them one by one, just like any normal APK. So, you know, you just go to the file manager, you go to the downloaded files over here. So let's go to downloads and say you want to install an APK, just tap on it and click on update. If it asks for any special permissions, just go ahead and allow those permissions and you should be good to go. Now you see that we've updated cast. So in case we have a problem, what do we do? So you go to settings here, you go to apps and then you click on manage apps and this three dot menu, which has show all apps. Now, if we want to go back to the stock version of cast, select that and uninstall updates. Bam, it's that simple. Even if you want to go to say the old system launcher for whatever reason, uninstall updates. And the moment you do that, the home screen launcher will reset or relaunch. And then you have the old version of the launcher. Let me show you here. Now, as you can see, you have all these options available, but if you go to home screen, you don't have that preview. So these are MIUI 13.1 or MIUI 14 system apps, which are getting updated on a daily basis in the beta and alpha testing. Whatever APKs I feel are worthy of trying on day to day basis so that you can get a quick glimpse of what's coming next for your MIUI update. This is very simple. The link is mentioned in the description. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this video? I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.